Hello and welcome to Vision Academy. My name is Hanuman Fadwa and in this video we are going to write a C program to find GCD and LCM of two numbers. Let us write the preprocessor directives hash include in angular brace we will write standard input output dot h header file hash include in angular brace we will write console input output dot h header file then we will write wide main function curly open brace and here I am going to declare all the variables with data type int here I am going to take n1 and n2 are number 1 and number 2 next I will take variable gcd and one more variable called lcm r is the remainder n is numerator and d is denominator let us write clr scr function which is used to clear the screen now we will ask the user to enter two numbers using printf statement here i am going to write in a double quotation mark enter two numbers backward slash n end the double quotation mark and put semicolon now we are going to receive two numbers from the user through keyboard using scanf statement in a double quotation mark i am going to write percentage d percentage d end the double quotation mark and we'll take both n1 and n2 so ampersand of n1 comma ampersand of n2 now we are going to check the condition if n1 that is first number is greater than the second number then if this is true then numerator is equated with first number that is n1 is equated with numerator and denominator is equated with n2 and curly closing brace if this is false if the first number is not greater than second number then else part here i am going to initialize n is equal to n2 that is second number is initialized to numerator and then we will write denominator is equal to n1 here first number is equated to denominator and curly closing brace now we are going to write remainder r is equal to n1 modular division by n2 and put semicolon i'll use the looping structure while and we'll check the condition remainder is not equal to zero if this is true then the denominator is to be initialized to a numerator and remainder is to be initialized to denominator and then remainder r is equal to n modular division by d next curly closing brace now we will write gcd is equal to denominator so denominator is equated to gcd and now we will calculate lcm is equal to n1 into n2 divided by gcd and put semicolon now let us print lcm and gcd because we have already got the values for both gcd and lcm so let us write the printf statement here i'm going to write printf and in the double quotation mark i'll write gcd of percentage d format specifier and percentage d is equal to percentage d backward slash n in the double quotation mark and this percentage d is associated with the first number and the next percentage d is associated with second number equal to percentage d that gives us gcd so which is stored in this variable here i'm going to write gcd and put semicolon now i'm going to print lcm in printf statement here i'm going to write lcm of percentage d and percentage d is equal to percentage d backward slash n end the double quotation mark put a comma this percentage d is associated with first number second percentage d is associated with second number and the third percentage d is associated with lcm so that value is stored in this particular variable and then put semicolon now i'm going to write get ch function then curly closing brace now let us take an example and we'll check out how exactly this works so when we compile and run this program so it is going to ask the user to enter two numbers I'll enter two numbers here it is going to print enter two numbers and just because of this backward slash n cursor comes down to the next line for example I'm going to enter two and four so two is equated with 
variable n1 and 4 is equated to variable n2. So now we are going to check if n1 is greater than n2, here 2 is greater than 4, no, condition fails. If this condition fails, then both of these two assignment will not take place. So control directly jumps to else part and it is going to initialize n is equal to, that is numerator is equal to 4, that is n2. And next denominator d is equal to n1 is what? 2. So next r, remainder r is equal to n1 modular division by n2. So what is n1? 2. Modular division by 4. So here you can see numerator is less than denominator. Hence the numerator will become a remainder and quotient will become 0. So modular division always returns us the remainder. Here 2 will be the value stored in the variable r called remainder. Right? Yes. Next we will go for while and we are going to check out r not equal to 0. Here r value is 2 which is not equal to 0. Condition is true. Once the condition is true, these three assignments will take place. Here I will write numerator is equal to denominator. What is denominator? That is 2. Next I will write d is equal to r. What is the value of r? r is 2. Next r is equal to n modular division by d. What is the value of n? 2. Modular division d is also 2. So this gives us what? This gives us remainder 0 because it is exactly divisible. 2 1s are 2 1s are. Quotient is 1 but the remainder is 0. Here it is not going to iterate one more time. Even the control transfers to while loop by checking r is not equal to 0. But here it is equal to 0. Hence condition fails. Control comes out of this looping structure and it is going to initialize gcd is equal to d. So here I will write gcd is equal to what is the value of d? d is 2. Next we will calculate lcm. lcm is equal to n1 into n2 divided by gcd. So n1 is what? n1 is here you can see it is 2. n2 is 4. So here I am going to write 2 into 4 divided by gcd. What is gcd? gcd is holding value 2. So here 2 fours are 8 divided by 2. So this is integer division. This always gives us the quotient. So 2 ones are 2 fours are. So it is going to return 4. So 4 is stored in LCM and 2 is stored in GCD. And now we are going to print both of these two statements. Printf GCD of. Here I am going to write GCD of percentage D is associated with N1. What is the value of N1? N1 is 2. So here I am going to write 2 and next and percentage d associated with n2. n2 is what? n2 is 4. Correct? So here I am going to write gcd of 2 and 4 is equal to. So because here we have written is equal to percentage d is associated with gcd. So what is the value stored in gcd? 2. So here it is going to print 2. gcd of 2 and 4 is equal to 2 will be printed. So next uh, here we have got one more statement. LCM of, we will write LCM of percentage D is associated with N1, N1 is 2 and percentage D is associated with N2 that is 4 is equal to, this one will be printed as it is, next percentage D is associated with LCM, what is the value of LCM, 4 is stored, here I am going to write LCM of 2 and 4 is 4. Let us execute this program, for that I will take you to my laptop screen. Here you can see I have already written this program in Turbo C++ Integrated Development Environment and now it's time to compile the program by pressing Alt F9. Here it is showing success means there is no syntax error and now I'm going to press enter and execute this program by pressing Ctrl F9. Here you can see it is asking the user to enter two numbers. For example, I'm going to enter 2 and then 4. And now I'm going to press enter. Here you can see it is showing GCD of 2 and 4 is equal to 2 and LCM of 2 and 4 is equal to 4. I hope you understood this program. If so, please write down in the comment box as understood. Thank you.